I've been back from my America trip for the last two weeks and from the second that plane hit the tarmac, I have been flat out because while I was away, I was able to settle on the purchase of my very first home. Now, fortunately for me, the housing market is at an all-time low. The interstate migration has caused property prices on the Gold Coast to skyrocket. And interest rates, they don't look like they're gonna rise anytime soon, so I'm not nervous about this purchase at all. The interest rate rise, taking the biggest jump in 22 years. The Reserve Bank's rate hike is already sending shockwaves through the property market. And it's only expected to get worse with future hikes on the horizon. Ah, whatever, I'll make it work. But seriously guys, I'm pretty excited. I've got the keys to the castle this week, and in today's video, I thought I'd take you in for a look around. So, let's get it. I'll kick things off in the living room. Right, so it's not tiny, it's not massive. Um, it's got the living room here, dining room, kitchen as well. A lot of changes that I'm gonna make. Um, the kitchen's pretty much just gonna be completely renovated. Uh, that will happen over time. I've got no real immediate plans to do it. Everything, everything's just gonna be lived in as is at the moment. I obviously need to furnish everything because I've only just been given the keys today. Um, some good plans, I guess, for the living room space to put a TV up here. I think originally they had a TV sitting over there um, and there was a big couch right here where the door is. So TV position on the wall here will make more sense and, and put, the, um, put the couch over there. Living room's good, nice timber floors as well. Uh, and then yeah, plenty of work to be done with the kitchen but for now it's pretty much everything that you're gonna need. And there's enough space here for a, a nice dining room table and, and chairs which I'm gonna be pretty much on Facebook Marketplace trying to get the whole time. So. There's a nice outdoor area as well. I've got some really good plans for, for out here. Um, so the outdoor area is a really nice sort of entertaining area, but I think this here can be pretty much knocked down. So the plan is to knock this down, open the space up a lot, and then through here, if you want to come through here, uh, through here I'm just going to basically get rid of all of this garden here and just basically tile it out. And then once that's opened up, all of this space here becomes a big entertaining area. And then over here, I'm gonna be putting in a big storage shed. So this is gonna be really good for eBay down the line. Um, I'm gonna put in a three by three, um, three by three shed. Right now, this is very tiny, but I'm gonna basically, three by three will pretty much be right here. Um, so you've got three by three, that's gonna be a plenty of storage room for eBay stuff. So it's gonna be tubs that I'm gonna be putting in here, a really short access to get in there and then through to the garage where I'm gonna have all my other eBay stuff as well. So. Um, plenty of garden space. The plan is to actually go ahead and tile. I want to tile a pathway all the way down along the side of the house and I want to pull out all of that garden as well. Um, and then you'll have the shed here and then you'll have a pathway that goes all the way down. And then on the side of the house there, I'm going to put like a, a clothing line and get rid of the clothing line that's over there. So a couple of changes out here, but I think once you knock that out, that's going to really open up this space. And this keeping this here is going to just hide the shed when the shed goes up. Um, so that's going to look really good once that gets done. When the place gets emptied out, you can really notice that there's a lot of stuff. Like the walls have got like issues with them. You've got to, I've got to repaint everything. This is just very much the bare bones basics. Um, but there's a lot of opportunity down the line to make it look really good. Um, I'll take through here. This is just... So there's just a toilet in there. This is where there'll be a, um, a washing machine and a dryer. There's some more storage in there, which is sort of below the staircase. And then in here is going to be pretty much eBay 101. Um, so I'm thinking the storage, the storage um, shelves that I bought just recently are going to be able to fit along there absolutely perfectly. So I'm probably going to have one that will come through to about here. And then there'll be a second one as well that should come to about here. So that should pretty much house most of my stuff plus the, um, the shed, the three by three shed out in the back. That should hopefully cover everything. And then here, I've got probably, I'd like to move this over here, which I think we can do. And then from there, this will become my listing area. This will become my uh, desk, I guess. I'll put a desk here with the, with the daylight and I'll have my listing station there. And then I might be able to put a bit more storage there, but it'll pretty much be just storage all along there, listing, work desk and there'll be enough space in between as well uh, to be able to sort of house everything and not feel like I'm too cluttered. So that's gonna be really good. The kitchen's pretty old. I still need to go and get myself a fridge. Um, so I'm gonna get a 600 meter fridge. It's gonna have to be a small fridge because it is quite a small space. 
Uh, but this sort of stuff, that's going to get knocked out eventually. I've got plans to put an island bench top um, to just kind of offset it a little bit and just have an island bench top here. So there's a lot of big plans for the kitchen, but that'll happen later on. Um, we'll go upstairs. So nice winding staircase up here and you've got the nice timber floors as well, which is kind of cool. Uh, now you've got three bedrooms up here. It kind of acts like two bedrooms and a study. And there's a bit of storage up here too, which is good. There's a bathroom in there and a toilet. So this in here, it's, it's very small. It's, they class it as a third bedroom, but it's pretty much a study. It's, it's like a nook. Um, down the line, future plans, I could have this as a YouTube room, or I could have this as another storage room. So it could be a third storage space. I really don't want to clutter up the place too much with storage. So I'd ideally like to make this just a YouTube room. Um, and it's the perfect size for it. I probably couldn't tenant it out um, and get somebody to live in there because you could pretty much only have a, a single bed. So that's pretty much everything. Um, the big thing that I've got to do now, because I have literally just got given the keys, is to now try and furnish the place. So I'm going to be using Facebook Marketplace for pretty much every single item. And I think that's going to make a really cool part of this video is now that we've seen the place, you can see what we're working with. I'm going to try and go and buy everything, like the fridge, like the couch, the TV, the dining room. I need absolutely everything, as much as the knives and the forks and the cutlery as well. So there's everything that needs to be bought. Facebook Marketplace is going to be the best place for it. And I'm going to do it on the cheap and I'm going to keep the quality of stock high. So let's get into that and I'll show you what stuff I'm picking up to furnish this place. Thanks, Ace. I really miss my van. A big week as you would have seen by that little clip there there's been a bit of progress on the furniture i'm pretty happy with what we've been able to grab and all of it except for the rug everything except for the rug has come off facebook marketplace which i think is pretty cool but i've spent two thousand three hundred dollars up until this point on pretty much most of what you've seen right there uh, in that little clip so i'm kind of happy to have been able to grab all of that i'm really happy with the way that it's turned out i think it all looks really good uh, and it kind of had to be done on a budget because I've got an electrician coming in. He's going to be spending an entire week uh, in the house rewiring and that's going to take a lot of work and, and a lot of money too. Uh, and then we've got the painters coming in as well. There's going to be a lot of painting done uh, for the second week. So I personally probably don't get to spend a night in there for another two weeks. Uh, and then eBay probably comes in maybe a week or two after that. So still a few weeks off, but I really wanted to document it for you in this video because you guys are a part of the journey. Um, and, and I want to step you through every single step that I go on and um, hopefully that sort of a video today was a fun one for you to watch um, Hopefully you got something out of it. Maybe buying Facebook marketplace furniture is a good idea That could be an idea that you could have pulled from it um, But yeah, smash the like button guys and uh, I really do appreciate you being here If you do want these sort of videos down the line with any sort of house updates that do take place Let me know in the comments below. I'd, I'd love to know what you guys are after and uh, yeah until uh, Wednesday Wednesday at 9 a.m. I'll see you for another one. I'll see you soon. I'm really sorry as well. I don't know if you noticed, but there was a massive bird dump right on my window and you've put up with that for the last minute. So I just wanted to maybe actually end the video by apologizing. I'll be better next time.